Hi guys, it's Andy from Man City Fan TV. Well, as you're probably aware uh, by the time you watch this video, uh, we all know now that David Silva has made an announcement tonight. The fact that he's got one more season left at Manchester City and then uh, he's going to hang up his boots, and which will basically take him to 10 years at the club. Uh, and what a 10 years it's been. On this video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk through a little bit about uh, David Silva, his background, his history, uh, his career, um, highlights, stats, and um, what he potentially uh, is doing in the future. Uh, so hope you enjoy the video, and uh, yeah, it's going to be emotional. So David Silva was born on the 8th of January 1986 in a small uh, village called Aguin Aguin, uh, which is in the south uh, of Gran Canaria. Uh, it's a small uh, local fishing village, uh, shall we call it, with uh, some um, small resorts uh, around that particular area. Now he started his football career very young in 1995, when he uh, played for CD Aguin Aguin and also UD San Fernando. Uh, he played when the, the youth academy teams there until uh, the year 2000, when he packed up and he moved to Valencia. Now at Valencia's uh, youth academy, his favourite player, he says in uh, some interviews when he was growing up, he always looked up to the likes of Michael Laudrup. Now, if we go through and have a look at... Uh, this transfer list of loan moves whilst at Valencia and the way he progressed through the Valencia Youth Academy into the B team and then on to the first team and then a couple of loan spells before moving to Manchester City. Basically, if we, we can see July 2002, he joined Valencia Youth um, and moved from the youth team to Valencia under-19s. Uh, in 2003, moved from the under-19 team to into the Valencia B team. And then in 2004, he moved from the B team into Valencia's first team squad. So clearly they could see potential in David. Uh, in August 2004, he was sent on his first loan deal uh, over to SD Abar uh, on loan for a year. Came back from Abar to Valencia, was only there literally a month uh, before Valencia sent him out on loan again to Celta Vigo. Uh, that was another loan deal for around about a year. He came back from um, Celta Vigo to Valencia, uh, where he progressed into the first team. And as we know, in July the 14th, 2010, uh, we had the pleasure of signing um, the mercurial um, David Silva at Manchester City uh, for approximately 27 million euro. Now, if you look at some of the players at the time around the world that were going for that particular price, uh, we've got Alexander Kolarov, uh, we signed for 22.7 million euro, uh, Mario Balotelli uh, for 30 million euro, um, James Milner for 30 million euro, and at the time, David Villa was the uh, top price player in 2010. Um, with his move for 40 million euros. So 27 million euro, absolute bargain. Now, what I'd like to do next is just look at some of his statistics before looking at some of his City highlights. So if we go back and look at his total career statistics, he's played 596 games, scoring 106 goals and 162 assists. We know he's the assist king, uh, absolutely incredible. For Spain in total, uh, he's played 129 times, scoring 37 times and having 31 assists. Um, now, if we look at his you know, stats just on last season alone at Manchester City, we know he's played 383 games in total. So one more year, he'll surpass that 400 mark, which will be absolutely incredible. Last season, he played 50 times in total, scoring 10 goals and 14 assists, uh, which is um, exceptional. Uh, even if people thought that he had an in and out season uh, last season, he started off really well. Uh, but some say he, he went off the boil a little bit towards the end of the season. Uh, but may, mainly that was due to the fact that he was playing so many games and covering for the likes of Fernandinho and for um, Kevin De Bruyne's injuries. Next, what I'd like to do is just go through his trophy hall, uh, which is incredible absolutely incredible so at valencia he won the copa del rey in 2007 2008 uh, at city we know he's won the premier league title in 11 12 
13, 14, 17, 18, and then last year, the 18, 19 season. The FA Cup in 10, 11, and then also 18 and 19 season. The League Cup, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 18, 19. So um, he's amassed an uh, incredible amount of trophies um, in his uh, professional career. If we look at Spain, uh, he's under, he was the under-19 uh, Euro champions in 2004. Then he was uh, UEFA European champions in 2008 and 2012. And of, as we know, he won the FIFA World Cup, um, the pinnacle of any international career, in 2010. Um, in the PFA, he was in the PFA Team of the Year in 2011-2012 and also 2017-2018. Uh, he was City's player, player of the season uh, in 2011-2012 and then City uh, Player of the Season in the 2016-2017 season. As we know, in December 2017, um, it was released the fact that uh, David's young son Matteo was born very very prematurely and it was a very hard time for him his wife his family and I'm sure also for the city staff and players alike um, it was touch and go at one point and uh, we know that Pep had a very has a very close relationship with David Silva and basically told him that uh, family comes first and you go back and be with them whenever you want and as, as we know he took two three weeks out at a time to go back and spent time with his wife and his baby um, whilst he was fighting for his life. Thankfully, he pulled through and uh, showing strength and character just like his father. Uh, and this wonderful image was when um, he was actually leaving hospital uh, with baby Matteo. Now, um, he's fighting fit now. We've seen images of him uh, with David holding him and um, at uh, the Etihad Stadium and uh, also uh, around Wembley Stadium. So uh, it's wonderful news. And um, at the end of his sort of tenure at Manchester City, I'm sure he's going to go back and spend as much time as possible with Matteo and his wife and his family, um, relax back in uh, Gran Canaria, uh, Las Palmas. So will he continue playing football? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, we know that he's the ambassador for Amphi. Uh, Del Mar, which uh, is a small area where there's um, a, whole, a huge big hotel and you can have a, have a look at, uh, it looks a wonderful place in the south of um, Las Palmas itself. Uh, maybe he'll retire there, maybe he'll purchase himself a bar and a hotel and who actually knows what he's going to do. Maybe he'll play one last season uh, for his hometown club. Uh, but anyway, there's some wonderful moments that we know about uh, in David Silva's career. And I'm sure in the 29-20 season, he won't disappoint and he'll leave on an absolute high. But I just wanted to look back on just some my moments. Uh, but we all have our personal moments. As you are aware on Man City Fan TV, I've always said that David Silva is my favourite all-time Manchester City player. Uh, I'm going to be emotional. I'm going to be gutted when he leaves next season but he's given us 10 wonderful years and going back I can think of you know a couple well, two or three major sort of goals that he scored a couple of them were against West Ham there was one where from a KDB cross at the Etihad he stretched and got his toe to it uh, and poked it in there was another against West Ham he loved playing against West Ham where um, he cut inside beat a couple of players and curled a beautiful left-footed shot into the top corner i remember the whole game um the curler it's almost similar to the west ham one and then the, the infamous blackpool game when he beat three players cut inside uh, and from an almost impossible angle curled it into the top corner but for me the standout thing i always remember from david silver's time at manchester city and i'm sure and hopefully he'll bring more memories next season but was that absolutely incredible pass to Edin Dzeko um, at Old Trafford when City beat United 6-1. Um, just unbelievable. So, listen, um, I'm sure everybody has got their own memories of David Silva um, and their highlights, their favourite goals, their favourite passes. And he's just been an absolute model professional, an absolute genius. Uh, and, you know, we've been very lucky as Manchester City fans uh, to have witnessed genius on the pitch. Um, he's going to be sorely missed uh, by City fans. But as one legend, legend potentially leaves, maybe that'll open up the path for the next future legend 
in the Stockport in the Esther. But anyway, don't forget, this is Andy from Man City Fan TV. Give us your comments below the video. What's your favourite moment? What's your favourite goal? What's your highlight? What, what will you remember about David Silva? Uh, the man's an absolute genius, an absolute legend. And from Man City Fan TV, I can't wait for the one last season and then your testimonial. So good luck to you, your wife and Matteo. Take care.